Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the reaction between alkenes and sulfuric acid and this is for the AQA spec. We've already seen that alkenes are highly reactive molecules. The double bond contains two pairs of electrons, one pair in the sigma bond and one pair in the pi bond. So because of this the double bond is a region of high electron density and this means that alkenes react by electrophilic addition, for example with hydrogen halides or with halogens. In this video we're looking at the electrophilic addition reaction between alkenes and concentrated sulfuric acid. I'm showing you the structure of sulfuric acid here. As you can see sulfuric acid contains two hydrogen atoms covalently bonded to two oxygen atoms. Remember that oxygen is a highly electronegative element. Because of this the oxygen atoms have a partial negative charge and the hydrogen atoms have a partial positive charge and we can see those here. Ok so let's take a look at the reaction between an alkene and concentrated sulfuric acid. We're going to look at the reaction with ethene but this would apply to other alkenes. Ok in the first stage of the reaction the pair of electrons in the pi bond of the ethene are attracted to one of the positive hydrogen atoms in the sulfuric acid. So in this case the positive hydrogen atom is acting as an electrophile. Now the pair of electrons in the pi bond form a covalent bond to the positive hydrogen atom. At the same time the covalent bond between the hydrogen and oxygen breaks and the pair of electrons now move completely onto the oxygen atom. As we've seen when a covalent bond breaks like this with both electrons going to the same atom scientists call this heterolytic fission. So at the end of stage 1 we have a carbocation intermediate with a positively charged carbon atom. We also have a hydrogen sulfate ion with a negatively charged oxygen atom. In stage 2 the lone pair of electrons on the hydrogen sulfate ion are attracted to the positive carbon atom on the carbocation intermediate. The lone pair of electrons now forms a covalent bond to this carbon atom and we've made our product which in this case is ethyl hydrogen sulfate. So as you can see this reaction takes place by electrophilic addition. Now if we add water to ethyl hydrogen sulfate we make the alcohol ethanol and we also reform the sulfuric acid. So this reaction can be used to form alcohols from alkenes. I'm showing you the overall equation for this reaction here and as you can see the sulfuric acid is acting as a catalyst. Now in this reaction we've used ethene which is a symmetrical alkene but what if we use an asymmetric alkene such as propene? Well in this case we need to use Markovnikov's rule and if you haven't watched the video on that then you need to watch it. I'm showing you here the reaction between propene and sulfuric acid. Using Markovnikov's rule we know that the hydrogen from the sulfuric acid is more likely to bond to the carbon atom which is already bonded to the greater number of hydrogen atoms. In the case of propene carbon 1 is bonded to two hydrogen atoms whereas carbon 2 is bonded to only one hydrogen atom. So in this case the hydrogen in the sulfuric acid is more likely to bond to carbon 1 and the hydrogen sulfate bonds to carbon 2. Now when we add water the OH of the water molecule takes the place of the hydrogen sulfate. So this means that our major product is propan2ol. The minor product is propan1ol but only a small amount of this forms. Ok so hopefully now you should be able to describe the reaction between alkenes and sulfuric acid. Mm -hmm. 